chunks of land and they all want to build there and you can't because it's homage. I thought George Foreman owned a whole shit ton of Remember to subscribe and hit the bell notification. Of uh, land here in Pennsylvania. Uh, yeah, but I think it's in one of those, uh, like, eerie areas. You know what uh, I mean? Oh, so it's... Like, just outside of, uh, the big... Big uh, cities. Well, he's got a bunch of open space, and he said he's determined not to have, have any. Hello, you can go, stupid. Well, he also owns a lot of businesses. Yeah, he owns business. businesses. Yeah, that's why he's making a killing on the performance. But he's got like a bunch of open space, and he's not letting it. He wants it open. He's not allowing any building. Well, that's like those people who are buying in Montana and Wyoming and all that stuff. They're buying all that land up and saying, oh, you don't come anywhere near us. Yeah, but the government can just come and say, well, we decide, we changed our minds. We it's our land now. Well, they wherever there's uh, like a freeway or stuff, they just go eminent demanding. Eminent. Yeah. That's how they got rid of uh, uh, my stepdad's sister's family. They just eminent demand her. Yeah, exactly. Of, that's of what Pasadena. they do. Yep. So she went down from like having an acre and a half to an acre to like half acre. Then mm -hmm. you know we're right by your house. Because eminent domain can go. I, I think it's like sixty feet each side. Yeah, that adds up real quick. Is it a sad way to go? But I mean, they did offer a bunch of money, and they turned it down. Oh well, yeah, so that net pisses them off, then they yep. just start yep. nickel and diming the That's exactly property. That's what they did. Because that was too bad. I told you that's where we used to always go for New Year's Eve. We'd go out and watch the parades. Okay, they opened up that pathway so you can get to your yeah. Your yeah. doctor's room. That was blocked. I didn't think they were going to. Well, the doctor's office probably had a lot to do. The doctor office probably had a lot to say about that. Uh, yeah. The Medford still of these people, uh, need them. I need them. The diesel, they got all the diesels up. Yeah, that wasn't up before. The gas pumps are getting ready to go in there. So uh -huh. Somebody that we know from um, Weiss tried to come work here, uh -huh. and he said it was too hard. He well, he's back. older. He's 70. He went back to Weiss. We tried to tell him. I said, uh, he tried working. Um, yeah, yeah. It's just it's too much. You know, I knew it would be. For it's not even open yet, though. Yeah, but they took him down to uh, the two out in Aldersburg or Duncansville or uh, wherever those were, and put him up there so they could train. Yeah. Ready to go for this. But obviously, they're selling beer and wine because I see the orange application there yeah well, underneath where it says rudder that's yep. the orange sign yeah that's the, the liquor that's place. liquor yeah because yeah. you know they were not gonna let sheets be the only place that sells liquor there's just a sip in there if you want it not anymore some brown sugar yeah i was shocked and what, what, what do you do do you drink it or you mix it Mar in with a... like marinade and cook it oh slow cook it 
You get the potato, the potato, potatoes. Yeah. Wash them with your thumb real good to get the dirt off. Yeah. Cut off the ends because, you know, the ends are yeah. icky. Yeah. Sweet, sweet potatoes, right? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. And then you just cut them into whatever, how big you want. The pieces, throw them in your slow cooker, and all you put in there is you take about, I'd say about a half cup of orange juice and about a quarter cup of brown sugar. And mix it together real good and pour it over the top. David. Put it on low. Snuck it down on David and he loved it. We didn't tell him what it was. He oh, it. he won't do brown sugar or... But we just don't tell him. <laughs> yeah, you tell him that's just asking for the butt. Oh, Job's back to one again. And he's getting used to the the bowls. He still... I have the one, the regular ceramic wall for his dry. Mm. He, I kept that for... So that way his that's his go-to when he's snorts and everything else. At least he has a bowl that he's used to and familiar okay, with. Okay, I think Diane and I, we think something's going on with the fancy feast. Because milk, uh-uh, no way. He won't touch it's, it. Yeah, the Medleys, no. Um, yeah. Not the Medleys, but... Um, well, Tuna Tuscany, he ate that really good. Uh, but I tried giving him fancy feast salmon, and he just smelled it and walked away. Yeah. yeah but he ate the salmon in the friskies just fine. Yeah, they did something. Now, I did have a can of fair just because I'm running low on his stuff. He, he did eat that. He ate about three-fourths of it. Then he was trying to flip the, the bowl out of the thing, <laughs> out of the new thing. Uh, yeah. so, so he ate part of it, but he's kind of telling me, he's like, okay, you know, this is all right, but I really don't like it anymore. Yeah, yeah. So, milk's kind of doing the same but the one, the tuna, has got to be liquid. Now, your cat's like pate. You might want to try the one pate, whatever flavor they like. And that might work. You might yeah, right now, yeah, they're, doing, they're doing that, and I was surprised. Because they we don't normally like them to do that. Uh -huh. But they seem to be eating it pretty good. Well, it's just, yeah, it's yeah. just, just texture, really, yeah, is all yeah, it is. Sure it is. And smell. And, and smell. And smell. Milk is really interesting. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, and if it's pate, I can chop it up into 80, I could mix it up in a blender, <laughs> um, and he, yeah, Job still wouldn't touch it, uh, so he just doesn't like it, there's, so there's something, something in the smell, yeah. oh dear. No, it's a dead deer. Yeah, um, so yeah, yeah, something with a fancy feast, but he's devouring, he wanted more one. He was pawing at the, there was no more things in it, and I ran out, and he was pawing the thing, looking at me like he was going to cry. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, so I told him, I said, I'm going to get you good food. And I, I, I told him, I, I gave him, because I still have a stash of babies, I was mm -hmm. telling him he was going to get a new baby, and I forgot, and then um, I put one out this morning, he was playing with it. Creamy was playing like crazy with his yesterday. We have a uh, owl that has uh, catnip in it. Uh, He's on his back, just throwing it around, hugging on it, biting on it. Creamy? Like, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, buddy? Playing. He was. He was playing good. Yeah. Oh, we're recording. All that. Yeah, that that pin works really good. It doesn't stick. Yeah. Right, that's still okay. Yeah, make sure there's Taco food. Bell first, right? Yeah, and then when we're done eating, we're going to go over to the aisle. All right. I got 30 cents off. Diane and I say thank you. More drugs, please. More drugs, please. idiot's uh, um, five minute speech or whatever 15 minute speech last time and they said it was nothing but a bunch of goofs Biden's speech uh, we yeah yes. Carl Did he's it, having problems he starts talking and he loses his train of well, thought well yeah it's been like that for a long time now it's been that even before he before they cheated Yeah. You want to get the prize 
chicken thighs is $1.39, I think. Uh, about. I don't need to get chicken thighs. I usually get some of those from pantry, so I won't. Fries, probably the boneless wings, because um, um, I'll get the boneless wings, fries, and the, and the uh, ghost pepper cheese. Those are the three things that I'm getting. Okay. Oh, you said deli. Is there deli meat, too? Can you bring the red heart? The what? Yeah, the red card makes it easier inside there. I forgot it. I'm sorry. I got the other two. Well, you can't. You're probably okay with this one. Well, because we had to bring the wagon out. We parked it by the deck. And then we had to bring out the sealers. So we did have a third hand. Well, huh. not that. It's just with uh, everybody in the vehicle. Oh, yeah, he's all over everything now. 